Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play King of Mazes. I'm your host Magic Man Mo, and I would like to thank King of Mazes for sponsoring this series. There you are, old man. Alright, so last episode we, uh, I think traveled to Bula. We didn't have to take a maze, we just, we're, we're just here. But we, we got a, no time to look around, boy, we must go to the Bula Ruins. We have to go to the Bula Ru oh, we must be in the town outside the, okay, we have, we're not in Bula yet. We have to go to the Bula Ruins to get to Bula, I think. And then we have to help the, hello skeleton man. Then we have to help the king get his daughter back, king and queen. Yeah, you are a straight up skeleton. Hi. Uh, hi. It was just giving me a second, I forgot my line. Damn it, I've been practicing for months now, and some people just have appeared and I'm messing it up. Take it easy, man. Just relax and empty your mind. First of all, I'm a girl, FYI. Second of all, I think I remembered my line. Great, let's hear it. You said that pass. Hey, that's a really good one. That's from Harry Potter, right? Yes, it is. Everyone tells me that my Darth Vader impressions are per- Oh my- just, oh, just stop. Just- just stop. It's from Lord of the Rings! Darth Vader's in Star Wars! What are you doing? Don't- don't- don't do this to me. Well, they are 100% correct. That was a super awesome Darth Vader impression and for Harry Potter. So now that we've seen your awesome acting skills, can we enter now? Uh, That's gonna have to be a no. I'm really sorry. Why not? I don't know. My boyfriend said it was really important that I don't let anyone in, so that's what I'm gonna do. Is there anything we can do to convince you to let us in? Any services we can offer, perhaps? Shut up, Gramps. Don't you dare offer my body this time. If anything, it should be you offering your body. Ew, yuck. I'd never bang either of you. I don't do fatties. Oh, rude. But there is something I need. Okay, what is it? I've been on a low-carb diet for the last few years, and I think I may have lost too much weight. I'm starving all the time! Can you please go and grab some bread for me from that village over there? Sure, no problem. We have to go get some bread, okay. Can't get to the ruins without some bread. Hello, do you have bread? Oh, maybe you do- oh. Well, this is not much of a- <laughs> There is not much going on in here, this is just an empty room. Alright, sure. How about over here? Uh... Is this just a ghost town? Oh, what is this? What is this weird chimney door? Baked bread? Yeah! Plus one bread added in. Okay! <laughs> I didn't know we had the proper ingredients to bake bread, but uh, I guess we do! Easy peasy, I baked you some bread. As promised, one loaf of bread. Mm, thank you! Mm, it's so good! I missed carbs so much! Can we go through now? Yes, you can, but please don't tell my boyfriend that I've let you through. We won't. All right, here we go. Probably won't run into your boyfriend, hopefully. Or maybe he will be in the case, patrolling. And if we run into him, he'll send you back to the beginning. Could you imagine, though? I hope not. Not that it would be a problem for me, for I, the king of mazes, will not be overcome by no skeleton. No skeletons or minotaurs wandering the, the, the mazes of, of this strange Boolean desert. Ah, I found the chest! Pearl necklace was found. Maybe I can give this to the princess. I need to pull out all the tricks if I can if I can to sway her to return. If I'm going to sway her to return. Yes, I'll have to pull out all the stops. Yeah, I'm, I'm really wondering when all these items are going to come into play. Maybe it's for the princess. I feel like the princess might be... Th the last girl to woo in the game. I mean, like, we, we, we're kind of like, we, we're working our way up from like witch to like a countess to a princess. You, you know what I mean? Like kind of like working our way up in a weird way. Heck, the, uh, the, uh, the water elf was a queen, wasn't she? So maybe I'm actually working my way slightly down from queen. I don't know. Not that, not that I'm going to tell a princess that. I would never tell a princess that she's a step down, but I'm just saying. What, what is this? Just a random oasis in the middle of the desert? Okay. Okay. Oh, hello, you. Are you, uh, the skeleton's boyfriend? Hello. Clement Lorraine, not again. That's the third set of people she let in this week. I'm guessing Lorraine is the skeleton guarding the entrance to the ruins. Yeah, that's her. But she's off the market, so you know. She's my girlfriend, so keep your fat hands to yourself. Not gonna fight you for her, buddy. You calling her fat? No. In fact... She's 
too skinny. She's all bone. Literally. Dude, she's like the super extreme opposite of fat. You two have a good thing going. I ain't messing with that. You're a good guy, man. I try to be. So now that we're cool, can uh, me and my ancient friend pass? I'm afraid not, buddy. Why not? Nothing personal, man. It's just that I'm not allowed to let anyone through. Why? Is this your job? Are you getting paid for this? No, man. This wizard created Lorraine and me about 200 years ago and told us we needed to keep people out of the ruins. Do you know why you need to do it? No idea, dude. All I know is that if I let people through, the wizard is going to get super angry at us. When's the last time you saw this wizard? About 200 years ago, when Lorraine and I were created. Has he come back since then? Nope. Dude, chances are he's forgotten about this place, and if he's human, he's probably either dead or so old that he can't travel much. <sighs> that is a valid point. So will you let us through? I really want to, dude. I really do. But I'd be sticking my neck out for you if I had one. How about I do something for you then? Since you're sticking out your theoretical neck for us. Dude. I'd kill for a refreshing glass of water right now. You see, my mouth is made of fire, so I'm, like, constantly thirsty all the time. So if I get you a glass of water, you'll let us through? Absolutely, dude. All right, well, we just passed that, like, oasis a minute ago, so it's probably just... Oh, God. I don't remember how to get back to it. I, I don't think it's hard. I think it's to the right and up again? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's right over here. Easy peasy. I was wondering what this was all about. I'm like... This is strangely, like, you know, strangely sticks out. Plus one glass of water obtained. I made some bread. I'm making some water. What is this? What is this? Cooking sim? <clears throat> what is this? Minecraft? You don't make water in Minecraft, but a uh, bucket of water. Bake some bread. What is this? Minecraft? <laughs> it's all I got. It's all I got. Did I miss my turn? Is this it? Oh, here he is. I got a little confused there. Here you go. One glass of water, as promised. You're awesome, dude. Thanks so much. Feel free to pass through. Thanks. I will. I will pass through. Ooh. All right. I'm just going to follow the path. I wonder what this building is. I have no idea. Is it a blacksmith? It's definitely an end. I've not been... I, I should go out looking and see if there's like a fireplace out there in the desert. But oh, I'm going to go inside. There's a lot of books here. Oh, and some bottles. I was about to say, is this a library? Hello, and welcome to the Bula Paradise Hotel. How could I be of service? You can help us by telling us which room Princess Elisha's staying in. I don't know what you're talking about. We're with the King's Household Guard, and His Majesty is very worried about the Crown Princess. Well, uh, Princess's welfare, so if you don't want any trouble... She's in the indoor pool, upstairs at the end of the corridor. Wise choice. God, I think I've wrecked my, my, my throat. The old man's voice has changed like a dozen times. <laughs> it's like changed a dozen times. I had an older man voice and I kind of went with a gruffer voice and I'm just, I'm fail. Oh, that's clear. That is clearly the princess. Hello, princess. It, it me. Princess Elisha. Let me guess, you were sent by my father, right? That's right. He sent us to find you and bring you home, your highness. You're pretty astute. I'll give you that. I know my father's men have been scouring the kingdom looking for me, but none of them have come even close. Well, the credit for working it out is my associate here, Mayor Adrian. It is an honor to meet you, your highness. Well done, old man. And you, knight, what is your name? I am Sir Edward Cumsalot of the Crimson Knights of Bonnerton. I see. So at the end, my father had to use mercenaries to find me. Your parents miss you and are very worried about you and want you to come home. Well, tough on them. I'm not coming home and you can't make me. Well, that is true. We can't force you to go home. But what we can do is talk about why you've run away. Why did you run away? Were you being treated poorly by your parents? No. My parents have always treated me well. So, what's the problem then? My parents want me to marry the Lord Chamberlain. They tell me that he'll make a good match and he's experienced with the affairs of state and how to run the kingdom. But you don't like him, right? Ew, yuck! No, he's gross and ugly. I wanted to marry a young and handsome prince. Have your parents not tried to introduce you to any young princes? My father distrusts the crown of Pirna, so he won't let me meet any of their princes. And the crown prince of Akata is already married, so he's not eligible either. Surely there is some son of a duke or earl that you can marry. All the good ones are married or taken, within to Taz anyway. 
I see your problem. How about Bonneton? Any nobles there I could meet? Bonneton is a republic. We don't have any nobility there. What a shame. I take it the Chamberlain really wants to marry you. Oh, yes. You see, a couple of years ago, during the war with Pirna, he scored a great victory at the Battle of Anu Gorge. As a reward, my father promised him he could have anything he wanted in the kingdom. For many years, he held on to this royal favor and chose not to use it. But on my 21st birthday last month, he used it to ask for my hand in marriage. I see he was waiting till you were of marriageable age. What a conniving rat. Well, I mean... Exactly, but since my father gave his word on his honor, he cannot backtrack on his promise. This is a sticky situation. Has anyone ever told you how cute you look when you're focused and thinking? Um, sometimes I guess. I'm not doing much thinking. I'm just staring blankly into the sky. Thanks. Sorry if I sound forward. Yeah. Um, actually, so far you've been the least forward of everyone I've met, just to be honest. It's just that there are like no young handsome guys at the royal court these days. And you're pretty cute. Nice of you to say that. Hey, I have a great idea. Why don't I just marry you instead? I. If I marry you now, then my father has no power to give my hand in marriage, so his honor is also maintained. I suppose that's true. So what do you say? Will you marry me? Think about it. If you do, you will eventually co-rule Tataz with me. Of course, I'll be the main ruler since I'm the crown princess, but you can also make some decisions, like the color of the carpet. Ooh, ooh, you don't want to trust me with that. Oh, we're going to have some fuchsia and we're going to have some magenta. So, what do you say? Will you marry me? You know what? Screw being a knight. It's such hard work. I think the life of a prince would suit me much better. I accept. Hmm. What's wrong? This was probably a test. I think I may have been a bit too brash in my decisions. I need to give you a test run first to see whether I want to offer you my hand in marriage. Test run? Yeah, I gotta make sure you deliver on my daily requirement of O's. Cheerios. O's? Orgasms! If you aren't able to supply the O's, then I'm not sure I want to marry you. Let's go downstairs and have sex on the beach. Then I'll know if you're worthy. Yeah, um, at first you weren't quite so forward, and you did a 180. <laughs> now you're being very forward. Why can't we just do it here? I love doing it in the beach. When we move back to the castle, we'll always have to do it indoors, so let's go outside instead. Aren't you worried that people will see us? I've booked the whole resort. There's no one else around. So what do you say? I... I don't know. I hate sex on the beach. Sand gets every... Sand. I hate sand. It, it's... It's, uh, dirty and coarse and gets everywhere. Not like here. Here everything is soft. How about a compromise? There's a spa next door, right? How about we do it there? We can even have fun with the jacuzzi nozzles. Catch my drift? Ew! That does sound like a lot of fun! Deal, let's do that! Uncle Adrian, do you mind waiting here while the princess and I make sweet, sweet love? <laughs> no problem, son. You go there and do your duty for this great country. I will. Oh. <laughs> Again. YouTube appropriate? I mean, she's kind of like trying to cover herself up. I appreciate the, att the, the attempt at covering her. I appreciate the censorship, the, the sort of self-censorship. I get it. <laughs> but the continue button is still kind of on your inner knee. And we're just going to click that. That was awesome. Oh, we're back at the pool already. You must have some sort of sex genius. I've never had so many O's in one hour. Cheerios. We Crimson Knights are sworn to help those in need. And boy, did I need those O's! Jeez, I can't even walk straight! So do you accept me as your future husband? I do! And so, Sir Edward Cumsalot found his home in the royal palace in Tetaz. They held a grand ceremony where Mayor Adrian was the best man. Sir Edward and Princess Elisha were very happy and had lots of sex and babies. <laughs> like rabbits. They lived happily ever after. The end. Is that it? That's the end? Da 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 da! I, I literally can't move. Happier ending! We got the happier ending! How many endings are there though? I had all the items. Should I have tried to use the items on these people? And how would I have done that? Uh, should I hit space? Oh, I should hit space. I didn't even save once. So if I had, if I wanted to 
do the other endings, I'd have to actually go through the entire game again to actually try. Uh, I could have turned on always dash. Maybe that would have been... What does command remember? What does command remember? I have no idea what that is. But that's been King of Mazes. I don't know how many other endings there are. I don't know if the items had uses. I don't know. All of that's a complete mystery to me. I don't know if maybe I would have gotten a worse ending, I, um, if I would have not gotten the items, or if there was some way I could have screwed that up. I don't know if I could have gotten with the island girl. I don't know. So there's kind of a bit of a mystery to that. If you're interested in checking this game out for yourself, there is a link down in the description down below where you can get this game on Steam, as well as the upcoming game, uh, King of Phoenix, that the same developer is making. It's sort of a dating sim type thing. Um, in the same sort of vein of humor and comedy or, or or whatever if you would like to check those out again down in the description Below, uh, but whatever you guys do. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching and until next time wash your hands